Well, I think it's kind of a existential, universal human urge to uh, be able to design, to have some sense of authorship over our own experience, right? Everybody wants to be happy. <laughs> and there's all these theories, there's all these books about how to hack the self, how to change the story you tell yourself about yourself, which is the essence of who you are. But I think a big part of who we are is psychogeographical. There's a great book that talks about this, The Psychogeography of Everyday Life. Essentially, it says that all physical spaces, all geographies have an accompanying mental landscape, right? All places can make you feel a certain way. All places have a subjective signature. They sort of anchor our subjective experience. They mediate the kind of experience that we're having. They mediate what it is like to experience what we're experiencing, right? Um, the other thing that has an effect on our inner world is interpersonal relationships. And that's because the way we relate to other people requires us to run mental simulations of the other person's mind. There's a great book that talks about this called Others in Mind. So a lot of our mental energy, right, again, goes into making virtual version of the other person's mind in order to assess what they think about what we're saying and adjust our behavior accordingly, to relate late to another person is to model their minds. If there's two people around, then you're modeling two minds. So again, you're incorporating the physical environment, which is informing your state of being, and then you're modeling these people's minds, which is also taking up real estate in your conscious experience. That's why certain people can give you bad vibes. That's why certain places can ruin your buzz. David Lenson in his book says that consciousness is a collaboration between subject and object. He likens the equation to person multiplied by place, multiplied by other people present, and multiplied by time, right? Revealing a garden of forking paths of possible conscious experiences, right? Jason and this landscape at this time with this person, or Jason in Amsterdam in the summer with his best friend Benny. Those particular ingredients will per will precipitate, will, will, will evoke uh, a particular experience of what it is like to experience. Essentially, our particular subjective experience will be authored. So if we incorporate that knowledge, then the idiom that to become is, you, know, to, to, you, you become what you behold, right? That your creative and linguistic choices govern your fate, that to design is to become, um, is rendered even more true. The knobs and levers of perception, in this case, who we're with and where we are, um, evokes the the what it is like to be I that emerges, right? The mind emerges in these moments. Conscious experience emerges in these moments. And, and again, <laughs> having some kind of authorship or stewardship of our internal life, incorporating these particular variables is liberating. We become the DJs of our own lives. And that, my friends, I think is the hack to happiness, the hack to being the director of the movie that's rendered in your head. Cast the right people, pick the right place, put the right music. <sighs> Again, you're in the editing room and you play the god of your own subjective experience. So that's my trick.